Hello and welcome back. My name is Melissa and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to make interactive escape rooms. What I'm going to be showing you today is one on Google Forms. I've also um, connected it to Google Slides as well. I'm going to break it down so that was part one of the video and part two. I'd just like to say thank you very much for those of you that have subscribed. So I'm just going to show you now what I've created. I'm going to put it into presentation mode. So this is how it would look to those that would be playing the game. So welcome to the Jumanji escape room. So I put that on. I'm going to play the slides right now for you. And then an image comes up. I've created it this way so it's more like a website. Here I've put some information there. So your mission is to reach Jaguar's eye and save humanity from becoming extinct. You will come across a series of tasks inside the room and on Google Forms. You can ask your teacher, Miss Hamilton, for hints. What I wanted to do was I wanted to make it more interactive. So it looks like a website. I won't be talking about how to create questions to target your audience in this particular video. Otherwise, it's going to be too long. I'm going to do several parts. So here, in what you can see is I've created a room and I'm going to show you how to create a similar room to what I've, I've done. I've got a clock up there and it's at nine minutes 25 because I have been in the room for half an hour. I can show you how to link the clock, how to um, put all of these items in the room that I, I put in the room itself, how to create a Bitmoji like we have there. And here on the links, we've got links to various things and you can have hidden links. So it, takes them through to different types of learning. So it's now time to learn about nouns. So I, I put that up there to make it more interactive so that immediately, um, I feel a bit lazy here by not starting it where the ads actually end. But here they can learn all about nouns and then they can actually go back to the room to continue their learning. So it's a bit like a, a sort of virtual classroom. Here, if we click through, it says, it says here, click here to submit your answers. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to put in background, there's lots of different ways to do this, by the way. I've tried to put in background learning so that it will help them when they enter the room. So it gives them some knowledge, therefore. So here, what I've done is I've created the escape room here with the lock and key. So if they get the wrong answer, for example, like that, oh no, wrong answer, they're not going to get through. They're only going to get through to the different levels if they've got the right answer. But what I'm going to do first up is I'm going to concentrate on how, and showing you how to create the slides. So you'll have a blank page like this. So this is done in Google uh, Forms. That's what I've created in, in Google Slides as well. So if you just go into Google Slides first up and everything that you've seen is all connected in the back end to Google. So it's all attached. Right, so what we have now is a, is a blank space and I wanna put it in a room. So I'm going to put insert image, search the web. Now, Google are very good at providing you images that are not copyrighted. So I'm just going to put and it's important that you do this as well, transparent, or you can put PNG, transparent, um, empty room. Let's say we just put that there. So transparent, empty room. And then you just have a look and see which room you like the look of. So you can have a look, I think. I'm going to choose this one. So then you just click insert and it will put the room in. You can get rid of the background image, uh, the words that are just there by just clicking them off. Anything? Stretch it like this so that it actually fills the space. So there, it's quite interactive. You can see it, it's empty right now. I'm going to put in some furniture. So I'm going to search for some furnace, furniture. So again, Insert image, search on web. You can use 
other things as well, such as Canva. So I'm going to put transparent chair. What chair do I like the look of? And then you can just choose a chair and you just drag it in there. So we've got a chair there. And I'm going to just make that small, smaller. Now, obviously, if it's an escape room, it's better if you choose something that has a door. So a room that already has a door there for you, and then you can create the furniture that's in there. What I've done is I've also attached here on the extensions a Bitmoji of me. So you can get the Bitmojis and download them. So it's an app that's on Android and on iOS as well. So what I'm going to do is just for quickness, I'm just going to put this Bitmoji there that I have of myself here. So it's a bit more interactive with the children. Sound like that. So that I am there. I feel like having a pet as well. So you get the idea that it's it's the same. You just decorate the room how you would like to um, decorate it. So I'm just going to put in a dog there. So um, dog PNG, or like you can put transparent as well. I've put dog PNG. So I might just have a look at which dog. I think would suit. And bear in mind, not all of the images, even though it will say, not all of them are transparent. So you have to really sort of check as you go along. Right. So now I'm just going to slide down. And I'm just going to quickly choose one of these doggies. And I think I think I'll choose that one. Let's see if that one's actually yeah. See there on there it looks like it's got a white background, but actually it's a PNG one. Um, transparent background. Just do that and make it obviously better if you find a dog that's got legs. But for the quickness of this video for showing you how it's done. Do that. So I'm just going to make the dock a bit smaller for myself. Yeah, but it looks a bit more real. You see, that's how you can start shaping the room. If you want to add something like a digital clock, like what I did, there's nothing really on on the in the room at the moment such as a, as a clock or anything like that. But you might want to put a um, television screen or computer screen or, or a clock, let's say, transparent clock. Right, so we've, we've got a clock that's just there. Might want to put a, like, Oh well, clock that's here. And I suppose I'll be putting my digital clock right in the middle, but what I'm looking for is, is the space that's there. Now, at this point, you insert video. So you're going to have a look on YouTube, and it says search or by URL or by Google Drive. So how quick timer. Do check through these clocks and make sure that they are child friendly and that they are for Creative Commons, meaning that you can use them again. What you need to do is you need to actually go onto YouTube at this point by clicking there, search for what you're searching, and then at the side button look for something that's creative comments. So this one's a two hour clock. I'm just going to select this one. No escape room's going to be two hours, bear in mind. It says here video unavailable, watch video on YouTube. So 
that is a prime example that this video is not available for us to actually use. So if I, that's me showing you the wrong way of how to do it. So I'm going to do it again. And this time do it properly. Search video. Let's jump onto actual YouTube itself. And I'll show you. Digital clocks. Then you go to the filter there. Right here, you should see Creative Commons. See which one's Creative Commons. There's a ticking clock. And then you can just search for whichever clock you want. Might just choose this one there, the ticking clock. With the alarm that's there. That, that was so funny. What's that sound? Oh, that's the escape room. Right. So we, we've chosen this one. Go here. So that's from my original escape room that's gone down to zero just there. So here, what I'm going to do is by URL. I've got the URL now. Go back to video in search. Select. So I'm going to have a sort of digital clock. It doesn't really fit into that round, that round space. So I won't necessarily be able to put it there. I'll probably be better off putting a screen. Again, with this background as well, whilst you're moving things around, it can move. So if once you've decided on your background and all of your furniture, what you can do is download it and then re-upload it so that you don't have to um, worry about moving furniture around and things like that. So if we just pretend that that looks better than what it is, you can start the clock, which is over here at the time, so to miss out any commercials. So say I want to start it at 0 0.200, so two minutes in, you've got the option of doing that. And then it can autoplay when presenting, so that when it goes into present mode, when you go on here, press it into present mode, it will automatically do that itself. As well, you can have hidden links in here or links that you want. I'll show you how to create a hidden link, for example. What you would do is you just create a text box for yourself, which is like that. And say, let's put it in white there. If we want to link to something, you can link to absolutely anywhere you want, like I say, another YouTube video or something externally, or your Google form that you have created in your Google Drive, you do this and you put it over the mirror or over the object itself. For ease, I'm just going to put in what I've already got. So it's an insert link there. So this is so the link is hidden and you can't see it. Then what you need to do is once you've done that, is click back on it, go back to fill color, go to transparent, to make it transparent again. So now that link is absolutely hidden and it's something that they can look for like a scavenger hunt. And then when they click here, it will say ticking clock and they'll find you. Or going out to the Google room itself, to the Google Forms room um, itself there. So this is a 
very basic of what I was wanted to show you today in this first session. I don't want the video to go on too long. If you do like this video, please do like and subscribe. It really does help. And in part two, I will show you the rest. Thank you for watching.